everybody. Well, uh, let's give a little disclaimer before uh, the beginning of this video, really. Um, I am not a professional electrician. I'm not a professional contractor. Uh, I grew up with uh, a dad that knew how to do a lot of improvement stuff. He taught me a lot. That's how I'm doing most of the stuff on this house. Most everything, you know, I've, I've been... I've done it on this house, like it's paint, uh, drywall, electrical, plumbing, all that, I, not a problem. Um, if you're unsure about what to do, the internet is a great resource, but with stuff like, you know, electricity, uh, anything involving uh, structural, if you don't know, go seek the help of a professional. It's not worth you getting hurt, it's not worth, you know, with the house falling down, burning down, whatever, it's not worth, you know, what you'll end up spending if you don't know or understand. Um, so this video is just for, you know, entertainment and, you know, maybe to guide somebody in the right direction, but it is not meant in any way, shape, or form to be a replacement for a professional's opinion or advice, help services, etc. Uh, that being said, uh, today we're gonna go and tackle some uh, lingering electrical stuff in the basement. Uh, any videos that you've seen, I don't know if it stood out or not, probably not, but the uh, uh, lights downstairs were in the basement were the like five dollar plastic pieces of crud that just stayed they're horrible, they weren't even attached to the ceiling. It was only supposed to be a temporary fix uh, for what was down there. Uh, so now with that, uh, the laundry room lights have been changed, we're moving a switch, and I'm changing out uh, the last electrical outlet in the house that hasn't been changed, changed yet. So it's still like a 1960s special. Um, I just want to change it just to peace of mind. Um, other than that, yeah, hopefully it's uh, entertaining and go from there, and I am currently painfully aware, painfully aware, that the COVID-19 haircut I currently have, aka a buzz, does not go well with the fact that, genetically speaking, I have thin hair. It's not that much of a receding hairline, but wow. Thin hair. COVID problems. Anyways, enjoy the video, guys. I already replaced the two lights out here. Uh, let's see if we'll turn that off so there isn't so much glare. So instead of the temporary laundry room specials, they're kind of actual light fixtures now. Um, but that is wired up now. But the problem is when you come down the stairs, the light switch here is kind of around the corner and out of the way so i'm going to move it to here so i've already cut a hole in the wall uh, put a new box in and uh, put the plate on and then i've got the switch got the wire put that in but uh now i have to take my right here staples here hammer them in over the wire to secure it up and over the framing here and I'm going to tie it into the existing box um, basically what I'll have to do is cut the power take off the faceplate which is already done there and then pull the switch out and because uh, it's older it's a little harder to see like it's got all this dust and crud but that and underneath those two circles are uh, what they call knockouts. So it lets you get uh, more cable going into the box. So it'll knock out another one of those and be able to feed this wire in through and then use morettes to connect them together. Other thing that I want to do, hopefully today, is uh, actually get in here which yes I moved around I'm 
balance parts are over there now. It's all sort of neat and tidy except for roommate stuff that's everywhere. Um, this is, in effect, the last, uh, the last of the electrical outlets and electrical fixtures, really, uh, that is from the old house. So I'm going to change that to, uh, pretty much the process for changing a light switch and a light is the exact same as this. Um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, sort of show you how I'm how I end up doing that. But this one I might go into a little bit more detail and show you. It's it's not complicated if uh, you know you can use common sense. It's really quite quite easy to do. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get going on that and uh, see how it uh, turns out. Okay, so next thing is I'm going to take out that uh, light switch on that side, hit those knockouts, and strip that insulation back, and uh, I guess feed it into the box. We'll go from there. Okay, so this is what the inside of this box looks like. Um, basically, I know that this is the wrong type of screwdriver, don't worry. Uh, this right here, uh, that little screw will take, let that uh, plate relax. That's actually what's holding the wire in. And just above that is uh, that little knockout plate. So I'll take that off, uh, get that knockout out, and feed the new one in. Um, like I said, there's the white and the black. So this is your, they call it neutral, but basically that's your ground. Um, but it's just it's not actually physically going to the ground. Um, this one is your uh, power. It's always a hot wire. Uh, but that, like I said, this one can be interchanged with the red. Now, look way back in here. There's a bare copper one. That is essentially your backup. That is your emergency ground. That is if the grounding here fails, it's got a safe way to try to get to ground without randomly arcing through the building and causing all kinds of fire damage. Um, so that's always important to have grounded to your box. Um, but yeah, so I'll get that, uh, that little clamp out of the way. <laughs> Switch is gone. Now I'm going to use uh, my set of pliers and I'm going to try and straighten out these wires so that they can go into the, uh, the little rat. Which would be these guys. Make sure you get uh, one that's the right size for what you're doing. And basically, once they're straight, you just put them right together. Put this on. Uh, once they're straight, you put that right together. You uh, put that on, twist it, and you're off. <laughs> truth is technically that should be live now 
in theory, anyways. So, if I come back to the breaker. Well, let's see. Give it some power. We have light. Check here. I don't see any arcing. I don't hear any arcing. Give it a sec for the breaker to, if it is shorting anywhere, to go pop. But I don't hear any. All I hear is a water heater kicking on, which is kind of weird that that's all wired into the water heater, but. Um, yeah, so that should be it. Next step is, uh, flip the breaker again to be able to go into the workroom and change that outlet. Stay tuned, folks. All right, everybody. Well, uh, that didn't quite go as planned. Um, I didn't get to change out that outlet, um, same day. It's been a couple days now. Um... I did finally change it out, but the video wasn't very good, uh, the lighting was horrible, and uh, as I said earlier, uh, pretty much it's the same process as changing out the, um, the, the switch there. Uh, it's, you know, the sockets especially, they're labeled on the back with uh, uh, your neutral wire, which is your white, and your hot wire, which is your black, and they have that all the modern ones anyways have that label on the back as to uh, where you put it um i mean again the, the, the steps are very simple it's make sure that the power is off um if you get using an outlet plug something into it flip breakers until that thing goes off so that you know that there's no power to it if you're doing uh lights uh turn the lights on flip breakers till they go off and then flip the switch off um, again, making sure, double sure that there's no power going to it so you're safe. Uh, and then, especially if the, the stuff's already there and you're just replacing it or updating the, uh, uh, the, the outlet or the switch or uh, the light fixture or what have you, it's just basically copying what's already there. Um, it's very simple, uh, but you do have to use common sense. I know the common sense isn't so common anymore, but uh definitely try to uh to use it if you can um but yeah just uh use your head be safe if you don't know ask uh and if you're still unsure just get a professional to do it it's it's much better for you to be safe uh than sorry um but yeah uh like i said everything sort of got switched um let's see if i can flip this over there we are so yeah that got switched out for a new one it's uh now actually the right way up which is nice before they for some reason installed it upside down um very easy it was fine like i said find the right breaker uh move three wires that bare copper ground the neutral and uh the black uh hot wire um onto the appropriate terminals Make sure it wasn't touching the side of the box. Put it back in. Um, still make sure that there was good clearance. Put the faceplate back on and flip the breaker. And now everything's good and it works. So yeah, that's uh, that's about that. Um, I'm hoping I can start getting some stuff to soon to get things like that uh, out of here and back into the car, which is on the other side of that wall, right about there. Um, We'll see though. I mean, it's beginning of February basically, like it's uh, or just before. So we're getting into our coldest months, and uh, our uh, our government here just decided to uh, extend the uh, state of emergency, stay at home orders due to COVID nineteen. Um, the next province over, they've actually got uh, curfews now, eight o'clock curfews. So even more to worry about over there 
Uh, and they've been talking about bringing that over here. So we'll see how that hampers uh, various projects. Um, one thing that has started to change is uh, Ashley's wanted a linen closet in the bathroom. But the old oil furnace chimney was in the way. Well, there isn't an oil furnace chimney there anymore. So uh, her dad's actually knocked that in, cut out all the old drywall, put that plate there, or that board there to cover up the hole, took out the old chimney, and he's uh, drywalling it in. Because uh, I've been working absolutely non-stop lately. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's about it. Uh, so this video is kind of taking a lot, a lot longer than I wanted to make, but uh, I think we're sort of on our way. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't be afraid to share so the channel can keep growing. And uh, I guess we'll talk to you soon, hopefully with uh, some more fun adventures.